Well, he is the Aussie underdog taking boxing by storm. Yes, but before Brisbane's Jeff Horn takes on the world number one, mm. he went head to head with boxing's latest contender, <laughs> Karl Stefanovic. Take a look. Yo, Hornet, the pink flamingo is coming for you. I've heard Carl's been called the pink flamingo, but I reckon he should be called Carl Stefano Victory. How have things been for the champ? Oh, they've been good. It's been been different having a little girl to look after. How's she going? She's good. She's doing all the normal baby things. She's crying when she's hungry. When yeah. She's got a wet nappy. Done a few of those lately. <laughs> You're doing your share then? Yeah. Is that yeah. true? Yes, yeah. No, he's he's doing his share. He's going back into training now. Is it a difficult man to live with when he's training? <laughs> when it gets closer to it, yeah, you sort of got to... Maybe you sort of just tipped her around him. Don't take anything to heart what he says. <laughs> yeah. Are you a pain in the neck? Oh, I can be, especially when I'm up to the 12 round pace and sparring where I'm peaking. Uh, that's when I'm really not in a good mood and I'm watching my weight and watching what I'm eating. When you look back at that fight and you look back at the obstacles that he faced, what stands out most for you? It's not like nerves really, you know, that doesn't really get to him or anything, you know, that he was fighting, you know, Pacquiao and it was huge and everything. He just, I don't think he really has many. I wasn't worried about anything. Joe worries about things for me, which is good, which means she cares about me as well. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's going into the, uh, the ring with very competitive people. Yeah, exactly. Who want to kill him. Yeah, exactly. And that's not a normal thing. No, no, <laughs> no. What would you do outside of the ring? Have you thought about it? Well, I was a teacher, but I don't know if that's what I really wanted to do. I would probably choose something else, I don't know. Might take your position or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a big fight coming up. This guy's one of the best fighters in the world. How are you feeling about it all? Yeah, it's... Look, it was the same position I was in with Manny Pacquiao. I was the underdog. No one gave me a chance to win. It's how I fight my best. I love being in this position. and um, I welcome them to say whatever they want to bring put me down because that just makes me train harder and want to win more. Paint a picture here. Madison Square Garden, some of the great fighters have fought there. And now Jeff Horn is in the middle of it, in the thick of it. This is as big as it can get. You know, this, this fighter, Terence Crawford, 32-0, massive KO percentage. He's ranked as the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. He's a good man too, isn't he? He's a fine stamp of a guy and uh, a great example of um, the true Aussie battler, the guy that punches well above his weight. And if you talk about punching above your weight, you can't punch any higher than this. How are you feeling, Pink Flamingo? Oh, I'm a bit tired. Okay, keep off, off the ropes. I think I can get your hand up. Just yeah. Don't let him sting you. I think I can get him. I think I can get him. You can. I know you can. Come on, you can do this, Pink Flamingo. Okay, don't. Let's do this. Don't let him go. Keep, the ropes. On, keep off the ropes. Keep off the ropes. Keep your hands up. Jeff, this Flamingo is just a fair play. Come on, finish him. Finish All right. Break, break, break. Oh, you are in trouble now. Pink Flamingo, you don't wake up with today. You're the winner, Pink Flamingo. Yeah. Yeah, that's boxing. I don't know, can't today. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you put it in for the team, don't you? You did take one for the team. Huh? Mm. I love that leg action with the leg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny when you're not being <laughs> hit? It's very, uh, very flamingo funny. move. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm known as the pink flamingo. Clearly. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> anyway. He didn't miss. No, didn't miss. Big thanks to Jeff for that um, and his beautiful <laughs> family. In all seriousness, uh, we wish you all the very best and we'll be riding with you when you, uh, when you go to Madison Square Garden. Mm. Uh, I think it's in March or April of this okay. year. And Madison Square Garden is, the, is one of the greatest places ever to, to fight. And he's nine, he's nine to one.
uh, to, to win that fight. And we're, but the whole of Australia is going to be behind him. He's a lovely fellow. Oh, and he's a world champion. Yeah. It's so good to see them play in on yeah, a game yeah, and a story yeah. like that. Shows yeah. the personal side, yeah. and he's actually got a good. Don't... You don't wake up with today. Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. But don't be deceived by that baby face and you know that no. picture in there cuddling his I wasn't baby being daughter. Deceived. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying to the viewers, he will he will clearly do well at Madison Garden. And yeah, um, yeah are you okay? No, well, he's, I'm not. Thank you for asking. <laughs> so still a bit of ringing in the ears. Yeah, a little bit of ringing, yeah. and the, and I haven't been able to eat anything solid. Oh, um, that's not a bad thing, though. No. <laughs> Good way to lose a couple of kilos. Bring a straw, please, someone. It's called a Jeff Horn diet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, well done. That was great. Oh.